Hello and what's up guys how are you i am vijay koladra and welcome back to my channel so today in this video i will show you how you can install flutter proper in windows so if you are a new then please subscribe my youtube channel and click on this notification icon and choose all notification to never miss any videos so without wasting time let's get started So here you can see that flutter installation requirement first we have to install flutter and second one is we can we have to install vs code or android studio now in this video i will show you both ways to create flutter application so now first one vs code is an text editor to writing the code and android studio is used to create and run android applications so so now let's start the installation so now open any browser and we have to first install flutter so in search bar type flutter so here you can see that flutter.dev is the official website of flutter now click on this so now click on this get started so here you can see that flutter installation guide is show here so here you can here you can see that different different types of operating systems are shown here so we have in this video the our main purpose is windows so select windows so in now another page that will uh, this is the page that uh, so now this is the complete installation guide page we have we can follow this to install flutter So here you can see that system requirements to install and run Flutter your development environment must meet these minimum requirements. So operating system must be Windows 10 or later. Disk space it will take 1.64 GB and tools is now Windows PowerShell or Git. So in our Windows PowerShell is built you can use Git for uh, installation. So now here you can see that get the flutter sdk means we have to first download flutter sdk and set up in our windows so click on this flutter in windows stable.zip so it will start installation so let's wait until it download so here you can see that our flutter windows is now successfully download now let's set up flutter so now go to downloads So here you can see that Flutter Windows. So right click and extract here. we have to paste this all files in c drive inside c drive we have to create src folder and inside the src folder we have to create flutter inside flutter we have to paste this all files so let's wait until it done it will take a little bit time to extract because it is a use file so so now go to this flutter windows folder inside flutter now right click this flutter and click on cut now go to c drive and create a new folder the name is src inside this src folder we have to paste our flutter folder so control v to paste this folder so here you can see that our flutter is successfully pasted now let's go to inside the flutter so here you can see that our flutter code is now here so now second option we have to uh, set our uh, flutter environment variables to this windows 
so to set the environment variable we have to go to the search and type here environment edit the system environment now click on this so now go to this environment variables now we have to copy this uh, inside we have to go this src folder inside flutter we have to go this in bin folder now copy this path inside now go to this uh, pa click on new icon and type here paste the environment variable path here and type here flutter click on ok now in second one we have to select path so here you can see that path now go and click on edit now we have to click on new and paste our here and click on ok now click on ok click on ok so now let's check our flutter command is now running or not to check we have to open cmd now go to search bar and type here cmd now type here flutter so here you can see that our flutter is now successfully installed you can see different different options is and are now available so now let's check the report of the status of flutter application so in order to check report we have to use flutter doctor commands so type here flutter doctor it will show the report of the status of our flutter installation so here you can see that our flutter is successfully installed our android tool chain chrome and it will in fourth one is visual studio that we haven't installed for that reason it show wrong icon but in this video we don't know need this one we, we in, instead of we can use android studio now android studio is used to create and run android application so we have to install this android studio so in other option vs code and connected devices and http hostar availability means we have to now install android studio so let's start the installation of android studio so open any new tab and type here android studio now click on the this is the official website of android studio developers.android.com now click on it so here you can see that android studio provides the fastest tools for building apps on every type of android devices so we have to first download it then install it so click on download and here you can see that your terms and conditions are show here you can read if you want and, and scroll down now check term and condition now click on download android studio so here you can see that our android studio downloading has been started so let's wait until it complete so now you can see that our android studio is successfully downloaded so now let's start installing the android studio so double click on this click on yes So here you can see that our Android Studio setup is wizard is now started. So click on next. Now please select this Android virtual device. It will create a one and Android virtual device that can help to run our Android application virtually. 
so now click on next click on also next and here you can see that this is the different different options click on install so you can see that our android studio is now installing it will take couple of time to installing so here you can see that our setup was completed successfully now click on next now uh, tick uh, check this icon by default this one now click on finish so now it will start and our android studio so here you can see that our previous uh, version uh, i have already download and install in patch so i i i'm i can see this option but you can s uh, select this do not import settings and click on ok now click on this don't send now click on next also next and you can see select your UI theme which is dark cooler and light so I am going to select this light and click on next so here you can see that it will uh, uh, SDK components to download it will uh, install these three components first one is Android emulator Android SDK build and SDK platform so click on this finish so it will starting downloading so here you can see that our component is now successfully uh, downloaded so now click on this finish so here you can see that our android studio is now successfully installed so we have to go inside the plugins now here we have to install first flutter so here you can see that our flutter so click on this next install and click on accept so it will download our yeah click on install so it will autom it will automatically install flutter plugin in our android studio so we can easily set up our flutter application now click on this restart id click on restart so now we have to create our brand new flutter project so click on this new flutter project now here you can see that our different different options are available now so we have to create flutter application so we have to select this flutter and here you can see that our flutter SDK part we have to yeah, mention here so now click on this now go to see SRC and flutter now click on ok so it will automatically detect our flutter SDK path now click on next so here you can see that we have to enter our project name so let i am going to type here test and you can select set your project location where our project will be stored and our we can add our description also project type and organization here you can see that platforms you can select all of the platform if you want to run this uh, application in all the platforms so now click on finish so we have to give a different name click on finish so now it will starting our creating flutter project so let's wait until it complete so here you can see that our flutter application is now created successfully you can see our app folder src folder and this all our details are click on next step and close it here you our manifest file is here also our mail mail and profile Let's create our uh, virtual device so
so now go to tools and click on this device manager so here you can see that our pixel 2 api is uh, already created if you don't don't have this virtual device you can create using this create device so here is the option to create any virtual device you can select air phone and uh, choose any of the mobile here is a pixel 2 now click on next so here you can see that our r you can uh, select any release name uh, in this video i'm going to create r and click on next now it will when you click on this finished it will create a new virtual device so i'm finished it will create a new virtual device so i'm going to run on inside this pixel 2 api phone so click on this icon and click on ok now click on this icon to run our android application so here you can see that avd is now starting so let's wait until it complete and inside this you can see our different different folder structure as here you can see it our test files so here you can see that our android emulator is now started so whenever you uh, changes your in app application you can run this to test your flutter application otherwise you can uh, attach your physical device to uh, to computer it will detect here automatically and you can select here and run in on it So here you can see that our emulator is now started and run our application. So here you can see that our counter app that I, I have created already. So I run that application. So you can see that our Android emulator is now up and running. So, so this is the process that how you can install Flutter proper on Windows. So I hope you guys like the video. If you like then please leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel and thanks for watching and goodbye